Welcome back to the MQDT Essentials. In this chapter of the video series, we are going to cover MQDT persistent sessions and message queuing. We have seen in the previous videos that MQDT connect packets can carry a so-called clean session flag. And if you set this to false, which means you have a persistent session, you're basically telling the broker that you want to have a session which the broker remembers. And one of the key design principles of MQDT is that it's easy to implement on the client side. And so all the complexity is pushed to the broker. And so what is great here, if you want to have a persistent session, the broker remembers the client. So if you go offline for any reason, the broker remembers your state and you can continue your state as soon as you reconnect as an MQDT client. And you can enable this feature basically by connecting with clean session equals false in the connect packet. And all MQT libraries, of course, support this behavior. Of course, you can also have a clean session. A clean session basically means that you tell the broker that you don't want to be remembered, and the broker deletes all state the client has as soon as the client disconnects. But what data is persisted actually on a broker? What data does the broker remember? We have on the ones with the session data itself, like the client identifier. Sometimes for some brokers also give you the ability to understand when the client was last connected. Then subscriptions. The broker remembers the concrete subscriptions of the client. Also, if there are any quality of service messages, which are not acknowledged yet, the broker will remember, and so the MQDT message flow can be resumed at a later point of time. And we have queued messages. This means we have messages, the broker queues for an MQDT client that is offline, so the client can receive this kind of data. How can we resume? We can resume by by using uh, the connect packet. And what is important here, even if you want to have a MQDT persistent session and you tell the broker, um, I want a persistent session, in the conarc packet, there is a, a tiny flag called session present. And the broker tells you as a client if the broker remembers you as a client or if the broker is under the impression that you have connected for the first time. And this gives you a neat way on the client side to understand if you need, for example, to resubscribe to your MQT topics or if the broker already has information about you. So this is something that is cool to check and most libraries allow you to check this, to build resilient MQDT clients. Then we have message queuing. And message queuing is something that is very unique to MQDT because messages are queued per client. This means if you have a, but only for persistent session client. So if you, you have a persistent session client, which is offline, and you have active subscriptions, the broker will queue all quality of service one or two messages for you, which you missed while you were offline. This means if you're offline for a while and you go online again, the broker will re-deliver messages you missed. And so even if you have a connection hiccup on the client side, you get the freshest information and you don't miss a message. So this is really great. But you need a persistent session here and you need to utilize the quality of service one or two messages here. Remember, quality of service zero messages are never queued. Let's talk about a few best practices. So when do you want to use a clean session? Usually for publishers, which don't require a state, where you just push data like a temperature sensor. Or if you have a client where it's absolutely okay if you miss messages, or you have a client which will probably never come back. When to use a persistent session? You use a persistent session when you have a subscriber which cannot miss messages. And you really want to have state and the broker should queue for you. Then you want to have a persistent session. Also, if you do some very expensive operations like subscribing to a lot of topics, you probably want to remember the broker. Um, the, you want the broker to remember this because then this gives you the ability to not subscribe because the broker already has the subscriptions you want. And last but not least, please check the message expiry 
By default, MQTT does not expire any queued messages as well as sessions, but most professional brokers like HivenQ allow you to discard messages which are not fresh anymore or discard old sessions which are never reused. So this is something to watch out because otherwise, if you have an MQTT broker which doesn't expire sessions, persistent sessions or queues, it could be that you're prone to some attacks for some denial of service attacks, for example. So this is something, if you have a professional scenario, make sure you have an MQTT broker which supports all the important operations and all the important configurations. Okay, this was it for the persistent sessions. Don't forget to subscribe below and see you in the next video.